welcome to the second episode of Tales and Tunes. My name is Johnny. I'm going to get the show started with a good morning song, and we'll work from there. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places. In sunshine. like to sing this song twice so all of you at home can learn it with me. Let's give it a try. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with sunshine Good morning to you wherever you are. Today's show is going to be about harmony. Harmony can be found in a variety of places. You can find it in stories, you can find it in music, and you can find it in songs. I'm going to ask my son Johnny to join us. Come on Johnny. And him and I are going to show you some different ways that you can do singing with the very very simple song called Mary Had a Little Lamb. We're going to start with just me singing, sometimes that's called solo, and I'm going to do a little bit on my guitar, and I'll sing this song and show you how it sounds in the solo way. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, oh Mary. Its fleece was white as snow. All right, so there's the plain solo version. Johnny and I are going to try something that's called unison. Maybe everyone could try that word at home, unison. That means when you sing the song together but with the same notes. There's no harmony yet, just singing the same exact notes. So Johnny and I will sing the beginning of Mary Had a Little Lamb in unison for you this time. One, two, three, four. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Oh, Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Very nice, Johnny. All right, now that sounds nice, but once you add a harmony, things get a lot more interesting. This time Johnny is going to sing a different part than I'm singing. And this is known as two-part harmony. When you sing two-part harmony, we are singing two notes that sound wonderful together, but they are not the same notes. They just happen to match really well the way they sound. So we'll give you a little example. This time we're going to sing the whole song in kind of a bluegrass style. Ready? One, two, three, four. Mary had a Johnny. 
Thanks for adding that beautiful harmony. Now what we're going to do, um, I have another son called Pauly. Both boys play instruments, but for now we're going to do singing. We're going to call Paul on to help us do something with our next song. Paul, could you come on out and join us, please? Hello, Paul. Hello, everyone. All right. Well, you just heard Johnny and I play Mary Had a Little Lamb. We did the unison and the two-part harmony. We're going to try another song called The Leatherwing Bat for you, but Paul is going to now add another singing part, so we're going to have a three-part harmony. We're going to show you how the chorus sounds in case you want to try to sing along at home. We're going to have three different parts happening, so choose what part fits your voice best and you can try to sing with us. We'll do the chorus once and then we're going to go right into the leather wing bat. One, two, three, four. Howdy daddy dilum day. Howdy daddy dilum day. Howdy daddy dilum day. Hey, lily, 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 low. I said the little leather wing bat tells you the reason that, reason that I fly by night is because I lost my heart's delight. Howdy daddy to long day. Howdy daddy to long day. Howdy daddy to long day. Hey, lily, lily, lily. I said the blackbird sitting on a chair Once I courted a lady fair She proved fickle and turned her back And ever since then I dressed in black Howdy daddy till um day Howdy daddy till um day Howdy daddy till um day Hey lily 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 lo I said the woodpecker sitting on a fence Once I called her a handsome wench She got scared and from me fled And ever since then my head's been red Howdy daddy till um day Howdy daddy till um day Howdy daddy till um day Hey lily 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 lo I said the little turtle dove Tell you how to win her love Quarter night and quarter day Never give a time to say oh nay Howdy daddy did a long day Howdy daddy did a long day Howdy daddy did a long day Hey lily 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 lo I said a little leather wing bat Tells you the reason that Reason that I fly by night is because I lost my heart's delight. Howdy daddy did a long day. Howdy daddy did a long day. Howdy daddy did a long day. Hey lily lily lily. Hey lily 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 lily. Nice job, boys. Thank you. Well, we've come to a wonderful part of the show. I have a very, very special friend who's going to be a guest today. His name is Dennis Lichtman. He's a good friend, and in fact, he's one of the most wonderful musicians that I know. I'm not sure what he's cooking up for us, but let's go to Dennis and see what he has in store. Take it away, Dennis. Hi, everyone. Wow, those guys sound great singing harmonies, don't they? Thank you, Johnny and the boys, for having me here. So you've heard some beautiful harmony singing, and now I'd like to demonstrate some musical harmony on instruments. So let's start with a melody you all know very well. I'll play it for you on my clarinet. So what I'll do now is to play a harmony on my other clarinet. I want to choose notes that are different from the melody notes, but that sound good together with the melody note. Whoa! Hey, wait there, guys. I guess the other me didn't choose my harmony notes carefully enough. Now, at first, when you start learning to play harmony parts, they might not always work on the first try, but with practice, 
you'll get better at finding and playing the good sounding notes. So let's give that another try. Much better. Now let's hear what the other me played on that second clarinet part. Maybe that doesn't sound as nice as the melody, but when you put the parts together, it sure does sound pretty. Do you think another me could find one more harmony part to add to that? Playing harmonies well requires a lot of the same things as playing team games or sports or working on a project with other people. You have to do your own part as well as you can, but you also have to pay close attention to what all of the other people on your team are doing. The goal is to work together rather than to pull in different directions. And in music, just like on a team or at work, every person is different. They're not all clarinet players, unfortunately. So let's add some different instruments into the mix and get a little bit fancy here. The other me's will get out my old metal tenor guitar, a violin, and a saxophone. As you could hear, I play a lot of old jazz and swing music, so now I'll demonstrate playing harmonies in a more complicated song. This one is called, I've Found a New Baby. Well, it sure has been fun playing for you all. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you to Johnny and the boys for having me. Back to you guys. Wow, fantastic playing, Dennis. And thanks for those lovely examples of musical harmony on all those instruments. If you'd like to find out more about Dennis, please follow the link that you see on the screen. Once again, Dennis, thank you so much for joining us. It was a blast to have you. We're going to move on now to a story. I have a book that is called Frog and Toad Are Friends. It is by Arnold Lobel. Now in this book, there is a story that shows an example of harmony between friends instead of harmony between music. Friends complimenting and working together. Before I read this story, last time I showed a Frog and Toad story, I showed you something very special. I always have to have my silly Frog and Toad socks. So I'm going to put those on really quickly. And then we will get to the story in this book. I have a handy little marker here. And today's story will be called A Lost Button by Arnold Lobel. Toad and Frog went for a long walk. 
They walked across a large meadow. They walked in the woods. They walked along the river. At last, they went back home to Toad's house. Oh, giraffe, said Toad. Not only do my feet hurt, but I have lost one of the buttons on my jacket. Don't worry, said Frog. We will go back to all the places where we walked. We will soon find your button. They walked back to the large meadow. They began to look for the button in the tall grass. Here is your button, cried Frog. That is not my button, said Toad. That button is black. My button was white. Toad put the black button back in his pocket. A sparrow flew down. Excuse me, said the sparrow. Did you lose a button? I found one. That is not my button, said Toad. That button has two holes. My button had four holes. Toad put the button with two holes into his pocket. They went back to the woods and looked on the dark paths. Here is your button, cried Frog. That is not my button, cried Toad. That button is small, and my button was big. Toad put the small button into his pocket. A raccoon came from behind a tree. I heard that you were looking for a button, he said. Here is one that I just found. That is not my button, wailed Toad. That button is square. My button was round. Toad put the square button in his pocket. Frog and Toad went back to the river. They looked for the button in the mud. Here is your button, said Frog. That is not my button, shouted Toad. That button is thick. And my button was thin. Toad put the thin button in his pocket. He was very angry. He jumped up and down and screamed. The whole world is covered with buttons, but not one of them is mine. Toad ran home and slammed the door. There on the floor, he saw his white, four-hole, big, round, thick button. Oh, said Toad, it was here all the time. What a lot of trouble I have made for Frog. Toad took all of the buttons out of his pocket. He took his sewing box down from the shelf. Toad sewed all of the buttons all over his jacket. The next day, Toad gave his jacket to Frog. Frog thought it was a beautiful gift. He put it on and jumped for joy. None of the buttons fell off. Toad had sewed them on very well. And that's the end of another beautiful story of Frog and Toad. I hope you can see the harmony in their friendship. All right, so up next, let me grab my guitar. We're gonna do a little bit of Old MacDonald. Keep your eyes out, there's gonna be some surprises you won't wanna miss in this song. Well, old MacDonald's had a farm. Yeah, yeah, 
farm you do. Oh, they've got no time. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed those silly puppets down on Old McDonald's farm. We're almost getting to the end of the show, so we're going to move on to a song by Woody Guthrie, a wonderful song called This Land is Your Land. Earlier in the show, we talked about singing harmonies and instrument harmonies. We also saw the harmony between Frog and Toad and their story. This is a song between people sharing the land, sharing resources. It's probably something that we could get a good lesson from at this time in the world. So once again, if you know this land is your land, Sing it with us at home. I'm going to ask the boys to get their instruments. Paul, if you haven't seen previous shows that we've done, Paul plays an instrument called a double bass or an upright bass. And Johnny has an instrument called a violin or a fiddle. If you know the chorus to This Land is Your Land, please sing it at home. And if you don't, perhaps you can learn it with us. One, two, three. This land is your land. This land is my land.
you for joining us. We've come to the end. We hope we see you again. We're going to sing goodbye music. Enjoy the rest of your day. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Goodbye music. Goodbye music. Goodbye music. It's time to say goodbye. Hello friends, thanks for watching. This show is supported and produced entirely by community contributions. So if you enjoyed the show and would like to see more, you can donate here at the link. Thanks for watching and see you next time.